I'm Terry Oracle, and Seasons of the Witch, Maybon Oracle is here. There we go. Lorraine Anderson and Juliet Diaz. Very cool looking deck indeed. Got a lot of really cool artwork in this one. Rockpool Publishing does it again with a cool looking deck that I can't wait to open and check it out. Now, I'm not a big collector of oracles, but this one is too cool. This one is absolutely amazing. So, obviously, a hardbound box and uh, some really cool artwork from the previews and whatnot. Ooh, look on the inside of the box. Very nice indeed. I love that. All right, so we got a little book with it too. It's kind of rare to get a, uh, a good book nowadays for some of these decks, but uh, yeah, there we go. So we have an App Store Google Play for uh, reading cards for the Rockpool Publishing. There we go. All right, so take a look at the book real quick. It is in color, and it is magnificent. Look at this. So it clocks in at 153 pages, and uh, each card is covered here with a couple of pages worth of text, which is really nice indeed. So I do like the book with, uh, I do like a book with just a lot of stuff in it. And this does have it in there. So you got the card spreads, got a few card spreads, apple of my eye. And then we have about how to use the cards and uh, the intro and everything else. Just really nice book, man. It's a nice thick book uh, that comes with the cards. All right, so you're here to see, obviously, the cards themselves. All right, let's check it out here and see what we got going on. So that is the back, wow. That is a deluxe back. A deluxe back indeed. Wow, these are big too. If you look at it from a perspective of a default uh, tarot card, there is a size difference. And uh, it's pretty hefty. It is pretty large. So it's pretty heavily laminated, as you can see as well. But uh, man, I really like this back. So quite a few cards as well, so I kind of like that too. So we got 44 cards, which is nice, which is nice indeed. So let's look at some of these. Oh, look at the edging. The, I've not seen orange edging ever. Have I seen orange edging before? I don't know. I love how it goes with the, I know, I, I know, I know you want to see the cards, but I'm drooling over the deck. I'm sorry. All right, let's look at the cards here. Zoom in a little more. So we maximize the screen real estate here. And uh, look at this. Ooh, a cabinet. Without practice, without befriending them, they're strangers in your path. There you go. And we have uh, Equinox. Equinox. Nothing is whole without the acceptance and acknowledgement of all. Very, very pretty. Love this artwork. So yeah, pretty good card quality too. Not a lot of movement in there. Breath work. Allow your breath to expand your spirit and fill your heart. Ooh, it is raining outside. So that kind of gives a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a, I don't know, just an overall feel, you know? You get the ambiance too. Uh, cacao, you know, cacao, I think. You're loved, you're held, and you already are everything that you seek. I like that message. I am the Tony Robbins of tarot, so I approve that message. Coming of darkness, all the light is dimming, life is withering at the core. Are you ready? I don't know. That looks kind of weird. What the hell does he want? What the hell? He's sneaking up behind this guy with a knife. That's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. You know what I'm saying? That's, I don't know. He just got like, coming in the door just randomly. Like, yo, Bill! I'm home. Stop cutting the stop cutting the uh, the porcupine or whatever that is. All right, uh, corn maze. Um, there we go. Although your path is unclear, it is there waiting for your faith to lead you. I like how it says corn maze because that is not a uh, that's not enough. We need the additional corn maze. We need to beware of the corn maze. The butterfly. There's a skeleton hand trying to catch your ass. You need to move. You need to get out of there. Get out of the corn maze. The coven. I am you and you are me. When we come together, we are all we seek. Oh, okay. Uh, cranberries. Okay. Uh, devour the truth 
Let it sink into the depths of all that came before and all that will come after. And then the crow, because we don't have enough crows already, pay close attention to the winds. There's a message making its way. There we go. And darkness falls. Within, within you live the hidden, the things that want nothing more than to swallow you whole. Mwahaha. And then Elden, Elder Berries. There it is. Hoop, there it is. A knowing within bone. Allow it to guide you. Um, all right. Does that say strawberry syrup? The hell? Uh, let go of the things that weigh heavily on you. Uh, you deserve to take up space. That's what I say when I'm on the bus man spreading every day. Uh, let's see. Fawn, be curious, dear child, and explore the world within worlds. There you go. The butterflies on the moon. The butterfly made a long trip there. I'm missing card 16. Fire cider. Dwell into the medicine that exists to protect the spirit. Got a little honey, got a little honey extractor there. It's a fire cider, but it's got, isn't that the thing you get the honey out of the honey thing with? Uh, foraging. There is no better feeling than having gone after what you desire. That's right. Pick up them shrooms. Ghost whisperer, be still in the whispers that ebb and flow through the silence. And grieving, the grieving, because we have no chest or arms. The chambers of your mourning are surrounded by nothingness, emptiness waiting to be seen. But did they just like randomly make these words? Some like chat GTP make these? Show your heart, slow your heart and move gently into the coming of self. The harvest moon with more butterflies. Harvest witch, what sacrifices have you made for the greater vision of what is to be? We have crows and butterflies and more crows and more butterflies and more shrooms. Haunted house, the things that haunt you are the things you have let, you have let yet to let go of. Yeah, there you go. Look like you drew somebody on a chalkboard. Kitchen witchery. <laughs> okay. What the hell kind of cookbook is that? What is that cookbook? That's a shroom cookbook. With a moon phase is in the cookbook. So you can only cook this pie when it's a full moon. And you need shrooms for the pie. Kitchen witchery. Abundance flows easily and effortlessly into your life. Be in gratitude. And you got somebody else's house over there. Somebody else's house back there is on fire. And they need to clean the sink. Something's going on here. All right. Maple tree. Uh, there's a chance coming that is so big it will shift all that exists. Then mead and wine. We have a giant lady pouring wine onto our feet. Your presence embodied, tasting the pleasure flowing through your being. And yet, what's going on with grabbing the old dude? We're drunk, we're celebrating. Old dude, why are you just standing there? Come here. We need to get you drunk. And the crow is like, yeah. Get him drunk. Molasses. To move forward, you must know where you are headed. Not necessarily. That is incorrect. There's plenty of people wandering aimlessly in life. And, and everywhere else. Molasses. All right. What do we got going on here? We got molasses sealed in the jar. We got fresh bread. We got the house next door. It's moved, color, changed colors. And we have apples and crystals and eggs because those go together. Mountain cabin, 
There are times when solitude can be healing and enlightening. Yes, solitude. Well, you're not alone. You got like a fox or something. I don't know. We got like all the sheets hanging out there. Peppers. Uh, be fierce about the ways in which you protect yourself. Allies await. Banishing shrooms. And a lot of candles. And peppers. Is that a pomegranate? Lots and lots of peppers. Pomegranate. Dare to taste the unknown and let it seduce your spirit awake. Yes. Look at that wine through the eyeball hand. The eyeball hand. You got to be careful of the eyeball hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. I don't know. That house in the distance is really popular. That fox is going to investigate. He's like, all right, this is like the 19th card with that house in the distance. I'm going to go check it out. What are they burning in there? All right, queen of the dead. Fear not the rage of fire. Living within, for it is the power of your fierceness waiting to taste you fully. Mm, mm, okay. All right. Reaper, for the birth of something new to manifest, the death of something holding you back is inevitable. You got a book right there. That is a thick one. That's a thick book. How's he going to be taking dead people if he's busy with both hands? Root vegetables. Uh, in those hidden places where most fear to go is where the most nourishment is waiting for you to behold. Yes. Uh, scarecrow. Remember that you are not alone. Move with confidence as you are guided. You're never alone when there's a scarecrow in the midst. The scarecrow guides you with the wilted sunflowers. Shape-shifting transformation is not the loss of what it once was. It is the evolution of more powerful... <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to shape-shifting. Yes, 35... St. John's wort and marigold. Uh, against your will, there will not be. No entrance, no welcoming. Be gone. I'm holding whatever that is with my tree branch hand and saying, go away. Straw bale. Man, there's a lot of straw and scarecrows. Is this a farm deck? Seasons of the Witch, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's time you step out of your comfort zone. Take up space. And there's a lot of taking up space. Well, I guess if you're on a farm, there's a lot of space to take up. Putting a fire source on top of a hay bale doesn't seem like the brightest idea. Why not just put some gasoline on there, too? That does not seem like just the wisest idea I've ever, I've ever seen. Tea magic. Reach into your subconscious pool from the source and weave magic with intention and the answers will unfold. But you need tea. You need tea to make that happen. And you need a butterfly and tea and crows and scarecrows. Toad, observe for all those who watch, see all. Ooh, it's a toad hat. The froggy hat. Ribbit. Tobacco, feed your ancestors, raise the sacred smoke to them, for they are hungry to connect. Yes, yes, get the big old stogie and just smoke that shit. Whiskey, life should be sipped slowly with intent. What kind of dick? <laughs> Let's get drunk. Let's eat some shrooms. Let's light all the hay bales in a big flaming fire and let's smoke and drink it up, boys. Because, fuck, it's a season of the witch. <laughs> Life should be sipped slowly with intention 
Be patient as the vision reveals itself. Yes. Smoke, drink, all the drugs, do it all. Witches gathering, gather in power, come together in grace. Unity is rising, and all will be embraced. Yes, witches rosary, craft your skills with intentions repeated, a practice of magic powered by purpose. Yes, with the owl and more flames and not enough hay bales. And finally, wool. You are woven with an embrace, protected, loved, the familiarity of finally being home and crocheting shit, yes. Finally being home with the crochet and the tea and the shrooms and the drinks and the cigarettes, yeah. Seasons of the Witch, let me know what you think about, looks pretty cool, I like it. I love the artwork, I love the book, I like it. This looks pretty cool. Uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun for a uh, for an Oracle deck. Anyway, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about the Seasons of the Witch.